Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Jay. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the new meta human character creator from Unreal Engine. So Epic just dropped this video along with the demo last week of this high end character creator. And I thought, you know, it came up in my discord. I'm a character artist in the game industry. I even made a joke on Twitter about, you know, they took our jobs and now it's all over, but I thought it would be cool to just watch this video and kind of react a little bit and then tell you my thoughts on what this means, if anything, in the game industry. So let's check it out. For more information about what I'm talking about in this video and to check out the videos for yourself in full quality, you can check out the blog post on Unreal's website. I put the link in the description. You can also download the project files and check them out for yourself, which you should totally do. So I'm just gonna pop my headphones on here and uh, just listen to this atmospheric music and watch this dope stuff. So let's just check this out. This, vi this trailer is super dope. Like the different colored backgrounds. Mmm, that depth of field though. Boom. And this is where it starts to get mind blowing. I like how they just ramp it up and then just blow your mind more and more and more. And then they just, I think they turn this character into a girl, right? Yeah, see, this is sick. Like you can, like you can change the proportions and this is what makes it a great character creator. Yeah, he's gonna turn it into a female now. So sick. The split screen is sick too. Mmm. Details. So epic. <laughs> so epic. And then they drop this video too, which is them like showing a little bit of a demo. You can download this demo actually, and we'll take a look in a sec. See this this facial animation here is I think more than look at that. That's so sick. She's saying I'm fully rigged while looking at her rig. Yeah, the animation the animation is probably more than 50% of the value, honestly. Like I know the art is dope. Um, and that's probably what we're really talking about here, but in terms of a, a product, a toolkit, and a solution for developers, the animation is sick. It's really, really valuable. It's hard to do that. Damn, that was really sick. The way that they did the the reveal too. I mean, they just like dropped a video. I, I we didn't know it was coming, and then boom! Now you can download the project, and uh, and there you go. You know. All right. So what is what do I think this means for like character artist jobs? Don't be worried that you that there are no jobs. That's that's not the case. I will say if you're someone who is interested in pursuing a career making digital characters, making photorealistic humans, I don't think is the way to go. But that's been true for a long time. There there will be better and better solutions. There's lots of people that are trying to crack that problem. That are trying to solve the problem in the least artistic way, the most scientific, out of the box, like company owners of companies and studios, they just want to be able to pay some money and then get a great photoreal human out of the box. And they want to be able to hire actors. You know, they want to do that. So that whole digital human pipeline is going to get solved better and better. Now making digital humans and trying to aspire to make photoreal humans, I think is a great thing to do as a way to learn and practice skills, um, learn techniques and to really challenge yourself. And I also don't think everyone that's interested in CG art should be doing it for a career. Um, it's a very competitive industry anyways. And, and, and if you want to do CG art, you should just do CG art. So I wouldn't feel threatened because of this. This is an exciting thing. I mean, Unreal Engine is an awesome thing anyways, uh, an awesome product. It gets better and better. I'm really excited for Unreal Engine 5 coming out. Along with this MetaHuman character creator, they they've been making gradual improvements on their skin and eye shader, their strand based hair solution now, which I think is amazing. And I hope that the future of high end games uses more and more of this stuff, but also it's important to know who this product is for this, this toolkit really empowers indie developers that never would have had an asset of this quality. The resources are just beyond their scope to hire an artist and a tech animator to be able to create this kind of an asset would take multiple man months and it would cost a lot of money and it, and the fidelity wouldn't be as consistent or high quality. This is literally top tier out of the box, real time human solutions, which I think is their goal. They knocked it out of the park in that way. Unless you are a developer on an unreal engine project, 
you wouldn't be able to leverage this. So you already have to be working in Unreal, so that kind of narrows it down. And also, from what we've seen, it's not a lot of custom, custom work. Like if you want to do a character with like a big scar, you know, and he's wearing a sci-fi costume, you, you'd have to build the costume and there aren't source files to edit, to make, you know, modifications like that. You have to use the tools that are here. So within those limitations, the quality is top tier. Now, is it, does it replace all character art jobs? No. If you are someone who's interested in making character art and becoming a character artist or just a CG artist in the entertainment industry, I think you should just keep doing what you want to do and find ways to create a skill set and build a portfolio that can create value for people that they can't get anywhere else. But that should have always been the goal for portfolios. That's what you want to do. You don't want to just do what everyone's doing and you don't, you definitely don't want to be doing things that people can just purchase solutions for, you know? So when it comes to doing professional art, using all the tools you have to your disposal is the best thing to do. And when it comes to being an artist to make things that don't exist, that's where doing things like characters that are creatures, uh, otherworldly things, things of elaborate costumes, strong styles. Those are things that are much more unique and can't just be purchased off the shelf. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, those are the kinds of things I think you should focus on. But I actually opened up the project right here. We can take a look, check this out. So good. Look at that. I mean, look at the, the water line. Like I say, Unreal's eye shader. Oop. Unreal's eye shader has always been sick, but look at the skin, dude. Look at, mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Look at this epic, epic shot. Let's go in here. Oh, that's not, that's not good. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. The hair. I don't know if this is the strand based hair or not, actually. I'm not sure. It looks like it might be cards. Yeah, it looks like this one's cards. Probably depends on on the build that you're looking at. Their skin shader is great. Their eye shader is great. Yeah, it's just sick to be able to see, like, get project like this for free. It's great that this stuff is accessible. I think all companies and all engines should be like this. All right. So I think this is sick. Um, you know, I'm not at all threatened that this tool is going to take my job or other jobs. I mean, character artists made these assets in this tool, you know, I think it's also important to acknowledge who this is for and how certain kinds of indie developers of all kinds of entertainment products and just certain types of projects. This tool is huge. You know, it's also cloud-based. It works on multiple platforms. Um, there's probably going to be games that utilize this to some extent. And I also imagine the scope of the options in the creator is going to get bigger over time. You know, this is probably going to be a whole nother avenue in the Unreal Engine. So I think this is just a powerful tool in the hands of certain people, but it's not a, you know, hundred percent solution for all types of games. You know, not every game uses the Unreal Engine anyways. Um, but the fact that you can download Unreal Engine at home. You can take a look at these projects at home. You can look at their textures. You get to use their materials, put them in your portfolio. If you don't know, you can use Unreal Engine to make products and sell it. And you don't pay Unreal unless you make over a certain amount, which I think might be $100,000. So their whole model of giving it to you for free, letting you learn it and make projects and products and do all kinds of different things with it is a great model. And I think there's no reason to not download this if you are someone who's interested in getting into game art. So really they're empowering the industry, I think. And I also think that this kind of tool is, is going to raise the overall quality of all different kinds of projects. You know, it's not like a character art killer, but I also think that it's important to know if you are someone who is interested in being paid eventually to make characters, then, you know, you shouldn't be focusing on making humans like digital double type humans or humans that, you know, are modern and photo real in that way, because, you know, that will be solved in, in all different kinds of ways. I think the future in that for that model will be off the shelf. That's what the market wants. And that's what we're going to get. Eventually anything that's real life will probably be purchasable. The things that don't exist though, the things that are more niche, the things that are much more creative and out there, those are the types of skills that you want to develop and build a portfolio around over time if it's something that you want to get hired to do. But again, I don't think 
everybody who does CG art should do it for money or for a living. If you're someone who's interested in making CG art, you should make CG art. You should just keep doing what you're doing. So don't panic. Uh, just keep making cool stuff and everything's going to work out. So that's it for this video. I know it's kind of a different video. Uh, you know, leave me a comment down below what you think about it. If I should even do reaction videos like this, or if I should just zip it, you know, and do, uh, just stick to my day job. I do have an Arnold rendering tutorial coming out. I'm working on it right now. So that should come out soon. Tell you guys how I render my sculpts, answer some Arnold questions that I got for my previous projects. And then I got a bigger art project going on in the background. So we're just going to keep this going and, uh, and just keep making art and talking about it. So thank you. And until the next video, peace out.